Hi there, me Mega Marshmallows with the 2016 Diamondback Hook bike check. The bike was bought over a year ago for $650. I loved it for what it was with its progressive geometry, one by drivetrain, 27.5 wheels, and all around fun attitude. Over the past year, the bike has taken on a new shape and form, of which I have improved on, in my own opinion, in every single way. The bike looks and rides great. The bike has been an expression of me since the beginning. From the orange accents on the gray paint job, to the new fork that's been custom tuned and modded in some slightly unusual ways to say the least. The bike has been through a lot, and so have I, but through thick and thin, the bike has roughed it out. So, let's begin where all the bikes start, at the handlebars, the contact points. Starting things off, we have a brand new pair of ODI Troy, D Troy Lee lock-on grips in orange, Clark's M2 mineral oil brakes with a SRAM X3 shifter, Answer Pro Taper Bars, and a Spank Spoon Stem. And both setups are mirrored on either side, as should be. The Spank Spoon Stem has been brand new, and it has held very well. No slipping, no nothing, and it looks really, really nice in the orange finish. I gotta say, Spank did a good job on that. The next thing is my Answer Pro Series, or my Answer Pro Taper Bars. Uh, they've been beaten on, but they're still good. And to finish things off, we got a custom head badge on top. Going down to the fork, this is where the weird stuff happens. It's an Epicon, but I added a small little air cartridge into it, which is basically like my sort of bottomless token for it. I also changed it to a semi-open bath damper, and I'm replacing the seals as we speak to FKF, SKF low friction seals. So, the fork is plush, smooth, and very responsive. It's also set to 130 travel, which slackens the head a little bit and makes it a bit more aggressive. Moving to the back of the bike, where the drivetrain is located, we have a SRAM X3 shifter, a PC830 chain, some cheap cranks, a Gear King narrow wide chain ring that helps keep the chain on, haven't had it flop off yet. We have some brand new Continental Trail King 2.2s in the rear with 2.4s up front, and I gotta say I'm pretty happy with it. The cassette is stock, eh, I haven't replaced it yet, but I will. And this new Gear King has been amazing. It's held the chain, the chain hasn't slipped or popped, I haven't had any worries, and I've been able to ride really hard, which is great for me. The seat post has been changed back to the Diamondback 30.9, which is handling well. And I gotta say, these Trail Kings have a nice tread on them, hook up real well. Going back again to the back, we can see the new chain. The chain was just recently replaced along with the brakes the rotors. I also added a chain guard, some nice little accents with the neon orange zip ties, and you can see the caliper back there. It's really nice and kind of low profile, not as bulky as the Clark's exoskeletals. I gotta say, the Clark M2s show a big step forward in improvement. There you can see the tubeless valves on my Diamondback SL rims. Uh, those rims will be replaced, but they've held up fine, so I've kept them. But they are a bit heavy, so they're gonna have to go eventually. And then, let's move on to my favorite part. I got custom ordered colored stickers to match. Anyways, that's about it. But enough talking. I'm gonna go ride now. See you guys later. <laughs> 